and I'm going to show you how to create a droplet. Uh, I've gone from my home screen to my tools and looked for the print production. If it wasn't available here as one of my favorite tools then it would say add here um, but I can just click on it here or add it or since I have it as a shortcut I'll just click on this one. I don't have any files open and so it asked me which file to open but I can see that the pre-flight panel is the one that is available. If I open the pre-flight panel you can see there's several different uh, uh, preset actions and uh, fix-ups and so on and uh, the Acrobat Pro DC 2015 profiles is quite a good one to start off with and if we instead of showing all the pre-flights we'll just go and filter out the fix-ups we will see things that will repair files or um, <clears throat> take away problems that are happening. With this fix up selected, and of course I can even go in and create a more complicated fix up. Uh, this is quite an intimidating interface, so nothing for the faint hearted. Um, but it is possible to make very advanced uh, manipulations of PDF files from within the pre-flight panel. And these are all automations. Now I want to create the fonts to the outlines. I'll choose from the options. And nowadays we have a hamburger menu or a flyout menu from a panel, but this is a little bit older. Um, and so we have just the options uh, flyout menu. We can choose uh, to create a droplet. And when I choose to create a droplet, it asks me where do I want to um, put the file if I'm successful and where do I want to put it if it is failed. I don't have to do this, but it's quite a good idea to uh, sort the files so I have the successful files in one folder and um, it's just basically saying okay I want to move the file or I want to copy the file and um, I prefer to keep my original so I'll copy the file and the success folder I've uh, created one here called outline points and I put this folder as outline and if the file fails I'll move the file so it will only move the file if it's failed because nothing's happening or no let's let's just copy it here we'll copy the file to the folder um, let's see where it is the success folder and the error folder and we can put that not to the success folder but the whoops sorry there <laughs> failed folder okay so now I have two different uh, folders one for successes and one for uh, fails and I'll say let's also save an error report and it asked me how do I want to save this a text report or a PDF report well let's just put this one here problems with transparent mask over so I get a full report on this one now this might not be an interesting workflow for just converting fonts to outlines but there are other actions I could add here like converting my files to CMYK or uh, checking compatibility for um, some kind of printing environment or so on or down sampling or up sampling or something so here's my action and now ask me where I want to save this droplet and I'll save it in the same folder here so we have everything together droplets are platform uh, specific so I can't do anything uh, by moving it from one platform to another and there we can see that I have now my platform I could edit my droplet again if I want to change it and then ask me which which one do I want to change and, and I, I can open it in Acrobat and edit it. So let's see if we can test this now. Uh, I'm going back to my finder. There is my droplet. Here my outline fonts will be and this is where my fail fonts will be. Uh, but I need a PDF file. So I'm going to have to open up a new window here and I'll find some PDF file. Let me just look here. PDF. I'll just search for PDF here and we'll find something. Okay, here I have a cookies uh, recipe layout example from uh, a tutorial I did before. And we can maybe look at, so let's see what this is. Uh, that's not. Uh, I, I'm a teacher, so I have quite a few PDFs on my uh, file. Let's, let's see if we can find something which looks like. Uh, Okay, this is 1984, uh, the book 1984 is a PDF file. Uh, so we can see one long book, this is another file. And I'll just take these files here and I'll just drop them on the convert to outlines. Let's see if they're going to pass or fail. 
So it actually runs through it. 1984 is, of course, a long book, so it's going to make a lot of outlines outlining the whole pages. We can see here that it's applying the fix up on all the pages. And we can see here on the cookies uh, recipe example, it went quite quickly. So while we're waiting for the other one to process, let's look here at the outline file. Here is our outlined uh, fonts. And of course, if we open up this one in Acrobat, well, I can't open up Acrobat as this is on, um, <laughs> then I would be able to see that it has no text in it. Uh, we'll have to be a little bit patient here. Um, as it's working through the whole of 1984, applying all the fix-ups on that. This is a Saturday morning tutorial, so it's not the fastest. And I'm not even going to bother to edit it or speed it up, so you're going to have to be patient while it's processing the whole book. I'm trying to think about uh, if there are any examples where it would fail. And I can't really think about any situation where it would fail an outlining f of fonts. Um, but please do comment in the video if you do have a fail. See, it, it passed quite nicely here. And um, there we can see the report here that there were no errors here on these files. And it has passed it uh, perfectly. Here I can see my files as well if I want to look at them individually. So it has the reports, and let's look here on the outline one. So if I will open up this file here, we can see that it, uh, I have the selection tool, but it's not changing to the I-beam, which means that this is outline fonts. Uh, if I close this one down here, let's just do a, a simple fine change here, and I'll just write for 1984 and look for that one and it's trying to scan all the pages and it doesn't even find 1984 once because there is no text in this document and it, it, it's just outlines and we could of course check this by editing as well uh, i can prove it the other way um, no it's searching out my document that's uh, <laughs> This is not scanned, no, we don't want to do any OCR, and no, this is finished. But if I choose my print production tools here with the edit object, we can see also that I can select these objects here. And we see these are selectable objects, and I probably could edit them in, uh, if I choose edit object, it would open up in the Illustrator, and I could uh, change the shape and so on. But this is no longer any text in this file. I don't know why I don't want to have such a big book in just outlines. Well, actually, I do. Um, <clears throat> there is, uh, since last year, that the, the uh, PostScript fonts are not uh, no longer supported in uh, in Adobe software or, or, or software. So this might actually be, if you have a PDF file with a PostScript font and you're afraid that it's not going to stay intact while you're printing it, this could be a procedure that you might want to do. Um, Though there is a warning that if you do outline fonts, uh, you are losing uh, what's called hinting, which is the smart technology which makes sure that all the uh, strokes that should be the same width are the same width. And um, it, it's quite advanced technology that is built into the fonts. So you wouldn't want to outline things if you don't have to. But if you have to outline fonts or outline uh, for some reason, this is the absolutely best way to do it. Um, so uh, that's uh, about all I'm going to say today. Um, and please uh, let me know if it was useful.